Hi guys, so in today's Star From Stash, um, I'm going to use these guys. So I had hauled these probably, I want to say even maybe three or four months ago. Um, but they sold out really fast on the HSN or something was weird because a lot of people had issues like their order was cancelled. Maybe they oversold them. I don't know. It was very odd. But I did have mine so I didn't want to like play with them because I didn't really know what was going on and then it's been so long now so I'm going to try them out today. Um, the other thing I was inspired by was this um, paper pack I used. Um, a little bit of this paper in an LDRS creative video and actually you might be seeing that video today also along on Wednesday. But um, I totally forgot I had this. I just was looking for some paper to use for a background for my card and I was like, this is so pretty and it's just very Kath Kidston. I love the colors in here. And so maybe I can pair them together. So again, start from stash is just, you know, grabbing some paper, things you might already have and uh, going for it, right? So if these are still available, I'll link them in the description box. Those will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase time to those links. Maybe this paper pack is also something I can link. Um, the reason I'm saying that, even though I said this is sold on HSN, HSN <laughs> um, is that... And it's so funny because I was just, you know, looking for the links and I'm like, well, when did they air these? So I went and looked and um, I saw a little bit of the demo and um, Sarah had said these, she said most of these designs are exclusive because, you know, there's going to be an auto ship thing uh, along with it. And what's funny about that is that those auto ships, some of them that I already saw, are already available on Crafters Companion site. They might be sold out now, I don't know, but I do, I do know there's some on Craft Stash and on Craft Stash they have like a confetti one, I think on... Uh, Crafting Pine site and noticed they had like a balloon one, which are the next <laughs> auto ship that I don't have, haven't even uh, received yet. So I think in May the auto ship is supposed to go out and it's supposed to be balloon and a like a confetti looking border. But um, so it's kind of interesting. And some of the other ones that are coming down the line were already released on Crafting Pine site. So <laughs> if you like to shop their site, you might find some there. Um, but it was the Happy Hearts, Dancing Butterflies, In Flight, and Scattered Flowers. And to be honest, the Scattered Flowers would probably be the best option for this paper. But I really, really, really want to use the butterflies. So it's literally just one die. And if you see anything here that looks like fun, like, oh, these little, you know, um, butterflies and things. It's because basically you run the die. It's going to cut out a whole bunch of pieces. And you can either pop those back in or, you know, cut them through a different color. And then just add those here and there. And I'm sorry about the lighting. I don't know why it's been so blue recently and dark. I'm going to try to fix that. But. Um, so I'm going to use this one today and we'll go from there and hopefully you have something like this. Uh, I know with Start From Stash I usually like to create things from paper and just things that you can do without having to have a specific die but I've been really wanting to use these. Um, well, initially when I first got them and then I was like, oh, I better not because everybody was kind of confused about what's going on with them. So I didn't. Uh, but we'll use that. And let's see, I'm sure that gives some kind of measurement there. I want to see how long this is, or the design itself, about how long it is. From the little stitching to the little six inches. Hmm. But it also doesn't cut this part or this part. I was thinking about doing a four by six card because um, you know, it's kind of trendy and I've been doing some in the last few days. Um, or a mini slim line would be fun. Um, three and a half by six. Uh, and A4 is... 4x6, but it's not really 4x6. It's usually a little bit over 4 and a little bit <laughs> over 6, but we just kind of round that down to 4x6, right? Um, yeah, so let me grab a card base. Um, or, you know, we'll make one. We'll make one because uh, I don't know exactly what I want to do quite yet. So let me grab some paper. We'll make a card base. We'll start cutting some layers. This will be on top, and then we'll have to like use a stamp or some kind of sentiment from like a some dies or something okay so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm gonna do a black card base and you know why because I need to go and pick up some heavy duty white paper that is not uh, marker paper because I keep using marker paper for my card bases and other things that is not necessary you generally pay more money for that kind of paper um, you know the kind you can blend like Copics on or your alcohol inks and um, I keep doing that so Let's do a black card base. Also, if you want to make it typically what is, um, you know, an A4 size, you would have an A4 size piece of paper and you just cut it in half. And you guys know an A4 size piece of paper is just under 11, uh, 12 inches and it is 8 and a quarter inches wide. So you would cut it, you know, when you fold it in half, you're going to score it at 4 and an eighth, basically. And then the length is just half of the, just under 12 inches of length, you know, so... Right now we're just going to do our own thing, so I'm going to cut it six inches tall and take off a half an inch on this, and you know what, unfortunately, 
Let me find my little uh, extender arm. Sometimes it comes away from here and then I just leave it wherever it went. I'll be right back. So let's put that on there because we just need to take half an inch off of this and it's easier to measure eight inches than to take half an inch off this side, you know? So, ooh. All right, blue bottle stay. All right, there we go. And I'm sorry I haven't done my start from stash. I'm trying to do them on Wednesdays. Um, I used to do Bust It Out on Wednesdays. So this is kind of similar, but what happened is um, a lot of times I had new things I wanted to get to, so it's not really busted out, is it? And then a lot of times people would be like, oh, I can't get that anymore, so like, why even use it kind of thing? <laughs> and I understand that for uh, YouTube videos, you know? But sometimes there's a lot of us old school crafters that have a lot of old things that we would like to keep using, you know, or have a fresh idea for it. So I'm kind of start from stash has to do with new things and old things, and hopefully it works out. Um, okay, so here we're just gonna score it at four inches. And then we're gonna cut some pretty layers of our paper. And so maybe there should be like a gold layer in there to set it off a little bit, you know? So let's start with that. So let's say I use a shiny gold, because I'm into shiny gold, and what I mean by that is like shiny, shiny gold, like uh, this stuff, but I'm gonna have to go find mine. Well, I have to find it, it's behind me, I just have to grab it. So I will cut some gold paper down to, um, four by six, three and seven eighths by five and seven eighths. Okay, three and seven eighths by five and seven eighths. And then the next one is going to be three and three quarters by five and three quarters. And it's gonna be something pretty. You know, how many layers are we looking for? Oh, that's so pretty. But again, I'm gonna cover up a lot of it because we do want this thing to be shown. Uh, it's gonna to have to be some paper where you just see the edges, basically. <laughs> These are all so pretty. I don't, oh, look at that one. Hmm. This is very pretty. It's very pale. Oh, little hearts. I don't know that we're going to see a lot of this paper, guys. Um, ooh, how about this one? <gasps> yeah, it's going to take me a minute to choose. Ooh. This is not easy because um, a lot of this paper is just going to kind of get lost, you know? Uh, like, this is very pretty. Maybe we go with this and then we cut down... Topper is going to be a little smaller than I think, which is kind of a bummer. So it's oh my gosh, it's lighting. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this one down three and three quarters by five and three quarters, and we'll see what that looks like, and I'll be right back. So this is just hunky dory paper I have in my stash, gorgeous stuff. I'll try and link that for you because a lot of times really pay attention to the listing on those things because a lot of times they are listed in like millimeters, centimeters, and you might think you're getting something and you might get a piece of paper that's literally this big. So you gotta really pay attention to what it says. Um, so we're gonna glue that guy down. So just start off with. And, oh, I know people are gonna say, gut it. I'm going to gut this because that is quite a bit of piece of paper. And if we take some of the middle out, nobody will ever know. So let me see, where are my, there we go. We're just gonna take a tool and I'm gonna come in here so I don't want to leave myself too little that ends up sticking out but we are gonna take this and I can definitely use that for die cutting sentiments and other things we only have basically a sixteenth of an inch that we need around the edges like I got really close there um, but it's kind of a mess what I'm doing here but a lot of it's gonna be covered up anyway like even with more layers of paper so we can use this to die cut later a sentiment something Shapes, whatever it is. Okay, so I'll put that in my little scrap pile here. Oh, what is going on? Oh, you know what happened? Uh, I found another bottle of Nuvo Deluxe Adhesive that was like more than half empty, but I was already using this one, so I opened the other one up and put them together. I just, you know, you just pull this out, and then I just pulled it off the other one and let them become one, but now this one's really full. <laughs> so that's why it was ready to just come out. Okay. So let's put that right on the edge, and I'm sorry about the lighting, I'm sure. So with this one, what I wanted to do when I cut it is to go ahead and have quite a bit on the edge, because honestly, we're literally going to cover this up pretty much a lot. So maybe I should change my mind as far as what I'm doing. You see, this is going to cut a, a space, so that one is definitely not where we want to end. You know what I'm saying? Or if you have your paper like in here. Just because it's going to have a hole, but I guess if you don't care, then that's not a biggest deal. So, let's go ahead and glue this down. Looks like the flowers don't really have a direction, but maybe they go like this. This paper pack is so pretty. 
I was like, oh, I want to make a card with just like lots of the paper, but <laughs> here's the card where it's barely, basically going to be buried, you know? Um, got that. Okay, so let's say we do want as much of this to show as we can in a panel. I suppose this could just be a strip of like white paper that has this in it and then a sentiment. Let's do it a couple ways. So I'm going to cut down a piece of paper and if it's in here four by six, let's just say mm, three inches is still going to show too much. Okay, let's just say three by five and then I'll cut a strip that's long that's going to cover like this whole bit here that is two by six. So three by five and two by six. I'll be right back. So I have a couple things here. Um, the three by five. So that way we still see some of the flowers. And then maybe we'll do a sentiment here. And then this one, I just made another card. I was like, you know what? Instead of just talking about it or showing you what this might like look like on there, I made another card. But this time I did a cream card base and a blue background. And then we have this guy or vice versa. I don't know. But for now, let's just put this on here. And I'm telling you, that this is exactly two inches like right on there. So I'm going to tape that so that does not move. I'm gonna run that through, and then we'll do the uh, the other one. Okay, so I'm gonna run this through. This lighting is so crazy. You know, maybe I should use some natural lighting now that we're into spring. But look how cute these guys are. I mean, those are adorable. Pop those on some like altered paper clips, something I think that'd be really cute. And there are quite a few, so some of them have not come out yet. Let's just put that here. Well, it didn't come out there we go that is very cute now it is weird because it goes all the way over here and then I have this big space but you know it curls back up here so it's still kind of a symmetrical kind of feel to it I might have to trim down a little bit because I feel like this bottom part is kind of sticking out so if we had that there you know that's something I don't know if that's my favorite look just having a strip like that we'll see and on this one let me go ahead and clean this out just to make sure all these little Dots, you know, are out, and I'll be right back. And for this one, you know, we can kind of have a look, see, and see what that looks like, and then maybe we have our stamp there, you know, whatever it might say. So on the back side, see how it's cutting that piece? I think that's my favorite thing. Let me look if I can move that up just a little bit. <gasps> Perfect. Okay, like right there. So. I'll put that right there and a little bit like this. I'm going to try to make it so that it's just stitching lines at that top part. Okay, I'm going to run this through <laughs> and I'll be right back. Okay. And again, I'll just remove this and clean it out and see what we got. I'll be right back. Okay, so we have all these little butterflies. Again, you can even ink those up now. You can run them through some, you know, maybe that blue color or some gold and bring them back to the front. So basically, this one's like this. I do like having a larger piece of paper. I just didn't want to cover up all my pretty paper in the background. And then just like a sentiment, and I still have this uh, stamp set sitting here with me. I'm sending lots of sunshine. Oh, it's your special day. Thank you for your kindness. And we can pair those up. Happy birthday. Oh, you make me smile. How about that one? Okay. This is a Spellbinder set that I believe is in their sale. And by the way, the sale, the um, spring cleaning warehouse sale ends on the 28th. And let's put that right there. Let's put this right here. And maybe we'll look at it to see and make sure that it is nice and straight. Because it'll be very much visible here, you know. So I'm going to pick that up. I don't mind where it's at. I just want to make sure that it's pretty straight. And that's not bad. I can see kind of like in the guide where it kind of comes across there. Maybe bring it down just a little bit. Right here. Okay. And let's do black. And I generally use, um, what's that stuff called? <laughs> what's that stuff called? Uh... Versifying ink for this kind of thing, but I'm just gonna go for this with this one here. Now, this is a photopolymer stamp, a nice uh, solid stamp, right? Really hard surface. That looks cute. I think that's good. I'm gonna let that dry a minute and I'll be right back. So, 
So look how pretty with that little pop. And I mean, it can just be flat like that. Maybe I'll pick it up. So that's what I'll do. I'm gonna put some dimensional adhesives, you know, strategically on the back, and then we'll just stick that right down. And with this one, I mean, it does look very cute just on the very edge like that. That's lovely. Or even just a little bit over. And then I thought, well, what if we put it right down the middle and then played with some of these extra um, white butterflies? So I think I'm just gonna glue this one down. And then if we had a sentiment, you know, obviously I can look at my stash or just cut something when I'm ready for it um, and just put a sentiment right down the middle. I think that'd look really pretty. So for now, I'm just going to do this part of it and then we'll finish off the other one though. And I'm going to put it right down the center so that way if you have a die cut sentiment, put it right here and I think it'd be very pretty. Uh, I did not, I, you know, I'm just eyeballing this. I was going to say I did not eyeball this. I did eyeball it. Uh, that looks good. It looks like it's probably a little bit crooked and needs to go up this way. All right, let's hold that down and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, let's get a little bit closer here. So this is done and I love it. I love the flowers, I love the gold, you know, that pops. Of course you can line this or use a white milk pen or whatever metallic pens you like. Very cute. I love the way it's lifted up because it does give it that dimension that looks really cute. So maybe a little bit crooked. All right, so we have that one. And on this one, I would imagine putting like um, a sentiment here that has like a background die plus the topper, you know, the actual lettering. So what I'm gonna do with this one is just take some of these little white butterflies and just bend them down the center and then glue them on here and there. Um, and yeah, there are white, white on white, I think it looks really lovely. So like I'll put one there and maybe one that's a little bit smaller. I'm probably not gonna use the tiniest ones, but like these guys. You know, here, and then maybe another one right over here. Usually I plan them out. I'm kind of being silly right now because I would have them facing different ways a little bit more. Maybe that one goes that way. And then maybe down here. So if we had our sentiment like in here. And so let's just do that. And that is that, guys. So hopefully that gives you some ideas on how to use these cuties. Um, I think they're really cute. I love the large panel. I love the look of this. And if I used a paper with just colors of paper, I would definitely just put a big panel, you know? Again, I use the different size that we're not always using the 4x6. So it gives a different feel. Let's do that. And then one more of the kind of smaller, but not too small. Like down in here. Okay, and so you can imagine if I had a sentiment there. There we go. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, start from stash again, you know, those gorgeous papers you have, maybe something you haven't used in a while. Maybe you have another border die that's similar. You can do similar things, you know. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll link what I can in the description box, and I'll see you all at the next one. And thanks for putting up with my crazy lighting today. <laughs> Bye now.